fiery heart of Scorpius is so vast, it could stretch beyond Mars if placed in our solar system. What makes this red supergiant so extraordinary? Let's find out. Antares, a magnificent red supergiant star, shines prominently in our celestial neighborhood and is easily visible in the night sky. The name Antares originates from the Greek words anti-Ares, meaning rival of Mars. This is because Antares shares a reddish hue with Mars, creating a striking visual rivalry in the heavens. Antares is the 16th brightest star visible from Earth and is part of the Scorpius constellation, where it is affectionately known as the Heart of the Scorpion. When you gaze at Antares, you are peering toward the very heart of the Milky Way galaxy. Let's travel through space. Now, each bright dot in the distance is a star. Antares lies approximately 500 light years away from us, a relatively close neighbor when you consider that our galaxy spans over 100,000 light years in diameter. Our galaxy contains hundreds of billions of stars. From a dark, clear location on Earth, the human eye can see about 3,000 stars without any assistance. Antares is surrounded by a cloud of gas that it has ejected over time. These glowing clouds reflect and scatter the light from nearby stars, including Antares itself, creating a spectacular cosmic display. From Earth, we just see one, but Antares is a binary star system. Accompanied by a smaller blue star known as Antares B. Despite being hundreds of times smaller and only 0.37% as bright as Antares, this companion plays a fascinating role in the system. The two stars are separated by a distance of 82 billion kilometers, roughly 550 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. Although it is dwarfed by Antares, Antares B is still an impressive star. It is twice the size of our Sun, three times its mass, and 170 times brighter. Blue stars like Antares B are among the hottest and most luminous stars in the universe. On Earth, most of the stars visible to the naked eye are blue stars due to their intense brightness. Now, let's move to the true giant of this system.
Antares is classified as a red supergiant. These enormous stars can range from 8 to nearly 100 times the mass of the Sun and often outshine it thousands of times over. Antares shines with a luminosity 10,000 times greater than the Sun and has a diameter of approximately 1 billion kilometers, over 700 times larger than the Sun's diameter. If Antares were placed at the center of our solar system, its outer layers would extend between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Despite its enormous size, Antares has only about 15 times the mass of the Sun. Its low density results from having so much volume spread over such a large area. The surface temperature of Antares is approximately 3,200 degrees Celsius, much cooler than the Sun's surface temperature of 5,500 degrees Celsius. This cooler temperature gives Antares its reddish hue, while its enormous size accounts for its incredible brightness. Dark patches on Antares' surface, known as star spots, result from localized magnetic fields that suppress convection and reduce surface temperature. These spots are similar to the Sun's sunspots, but on a much grander scale. In cosmic terms, Antares is relatively young, about 11 million years old. However, it is already in the late stages of its life due to its massive size and rapid energy consumption. Massive stars like Antares live much shorter lives than smaller stars. This is because they burn through their nuclear fuel at an accelerated pace due to the immense gravitational pressure exerted toward their cores. The greater the mass, the stronger the gravity, which increases the core temperature and speeds up the fusion process. Lighter elements like hydrogen are rapidly fused into heavier elements, releasing enormous amounts of energy outward. This energy counteracts the inward pull of gravity, maintaining the star's structure in a delicate balance. While massive stars like Antares last only a few million years, smaller stars like our Sun have much longer lifespans. The Sun, classified as a yellow dwarf, has a total life cycle on the main sequence of about 10 billion years. With 4.5 billion years already gone, it is currently in the middle of its journey. When stars like Antares run out of nuclear fuel, their cores can no longer support fusion. Heavy elements up to iron form in the core, but iron fusion consumes energy rather than releasing it. This imbalance leads to a catastrophic collapse of the core under gravity. Within seconds, the star's outer layers fall inward at millions of kilometers per hour. This implosion slams into the iron core, triggering an immense explosion, a supernova. During the explosion, elements heavier than iron, like gold and uranium, are forged in a fiery crucible. These elements are ejected into the universe, seeding the formation of new stars, planets, and even life. After the supernova, what remains of Antares will likely become a neutron star, an unimaginably dense object about 20 kilometers across. Despite its small size, a neutron star contains a mass greater than the sun compressed into a volume the size of a city. If Antares were to go supernova today, its light would take 500 years to reach Earth. Once it does, the supernova would be so bright that it could rival the full moon remaining visible in daylight for nearly a month. For now, as it continues to burn through its atoms, Antares offers us the gift of its brilliant red glow in our night skies, a reminder of the immense power and beauty of the stars. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more journeys into space. Got a destination in mind? Share it in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you on the next flight.